Bo Cho. Hi. Hi. Good morning. I, I have a really good question. Mm -hmm. uh, how do I alert when I'm doing um, a transfer or? I wish I could show you. Let's see. Um, when on 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 BBO, when the um, you know, when the bidding box is presented and it's your turn to bid, and then across the top it says one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and you you select a number. Just below that, there's a text field that says explanation, and you click in the text field and you write hearts or you write spades. Uh, you write the suit that you're actually showing, and then you you make the bid two diamonds or two hearts, and then the opponents will be will be notified that you're playing. No, I'm you're sorry. What, could you repeat that slowly? <laughs> I, I, I check on the explain box. Uh, no, there's not an explain. Well, there's a text field where you can put in an explanation. And, and what do I put? Like, let's say I want to transfer to hearts. You put in hearts. You, you write the word hearts. I see. And then uh, I, I, I bid... Um, I two, di yeah. two diamonds. Okay. Right. okay, and what about uh, a stamen? How do I do that? Stamen doesn't require any transfer or explanation. Any stamen doesn't require an alert. Oh, it doesn't. Just a transfer. Just transfers. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> if you forget, by the way, if you bid two diamonds and then you say, "Oh, I forgot. I'm supposed to alert that." Go up to the bidding uh, table. And click on your bid. Click on the two diamond bid that you made, and it, and you'll be presented with a box that, that lets you type in an explanation. So type in hearts, and explain, and the opponents will be notified. Do I need, do I need to put um, the explanation before I submit my bid or after? It's best if you do it before. Okay. Um, to do it at, but if you forget, then right, you can do right. it. Then you can do it after. All yeah. Right. All right. Thanks. I'm finding most people aren't um, alerting. Transfers. Yes, and 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 most opponents won't complain too much because they know what you're doing, but um, it is uh, it is subject to a penalty if the opponents if you didn't alert and the opponents wanted to do something like make a lead directing double or something like that. So it it is a requirement to alert. It's also a requirement to state your no trump range when you bid one no trump. Okay. Um, and uh, there are some clubs that that waive that requirement, but it, it doesn't change for the ACBL. Um, and yeah, on, on BBO, what you have to do is is put in put in the explanation and then make the bid, and then the opponents are notified and not your partner. So. Uh so we so before we bid one no trump we need to explain 15 to 17 yes yeah i haven't been doing that either i know <laughs> <laughs> i don't think any of us have well i have <laughs> well, that's <what> I'm... <laughs> jane has um we were among friends uh, exactly right. and and mojo if we're doing one no trump forcing we have to say forcing right right that's that's exactly okay. right what about two over one do you have to put two over one i wish no um you mean like the two club bid after your partner bids one spade or something like that um i believe that should be an alerted bid because if i'm an opponent i want to know that it's, he's making a game forcing bid mm -hmm. uh, but i always have the i always have the right to ask of course uh, and when when I ask, the hard thing is getting anyone to answer me. Uh, uh, but uh, and and if I just sit there and wait, and then call the director and say they're not answering my question, and how how long do we wait? And then at what point is there damage? So um, I, I have a problem with some of my open players who cannot figure out how to type a message to the opponents um, and not to the whole table, which is you know, I've had to penalize players because they gave the explanation to the whole table, which included their partner, and now their partner has unauthorized information, and they're not allowed to bid anymore. Mm 
So it, you, so they did it at the bottom when you're saying hello to everybody. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, you, okay. Right, exactly. Now you can still do it at the bottom. What you have to do to the left of the, the message field, there's a box that says table because it means your messages are going to the table. If you click that box, you can change it to opponents and then type something and your message only goes to the opponents. And that's another way to explain a bit or, or, get, or answer a question or give any kind of explanation. So if you have to give an explanation, you're really only giving it to your opponents because you're not supposed to communicate with your partner, correct? Exactly right. Okay, I didn't know you could change that box. I'm usually just saying, hi, how are you type thing. And yeah, exactly. well, done, well done opponents, well done partners, just something simple. Yeah. I think you have I think you have no choice but to impose consequences, Mojo. Otherwise it's favoritism on your part. Yeah. Well <laughs> Yeah. Am I wrong? I'm right. No, 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 you're right. You're right. And I and I do, and I have. I've punished my friends. <laughs> You're supposed to know the rules. I mean at some point you say, Oh, I can't forget that, you know. Yeah. It'd be like uh Foul in basketball. That's a foul. Oh, but you're friends. So. Yes. <laughs> we'll ignore that one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I want to talk about lead, leading against a no Trump contract again. I'm going to share this screen. Um, and I'm going to have, have you do some annotations if you can. Well, I'm sharing the screen. If you look, I, I'm not sure if it's at the top or the bottom, but there's a control in Zoom. Um, that lets you, it's called annotate. And if you uh, click on it, it, it brings up a whole list of things you can use to annotate. And we can use the stamps. I'll, I'll, I'll show you with little hearts. See, I can put little hearts on this. See, see where I'm putting little hearts here? Oh, yeah. That's the uh, annotation tool. Uh, but and, where it, does it say annotate? Uh, yes, it does. Yes, it says annotate. It does. Yeah. Zoom, right? It's not. I've got the shark bridges on my main screen right now, and all the zoomers are on the far right. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I don't see anything like that either. I don't either. It's mm. hidden. Uh, it's hidden. Oh, so it says reactions on my computer. It says reactions, and all there's right. a heart, and there's a happy face. Where's right, but the reactions those show up by your face. You, they don't. They don't let you annotate the diagram. Oh, we don't. I don't have an annotate. I don't have yeah. that either. You all have it. Trust me, you all have it, but it's hidden. It's hidden. It's a treasure hunt. Okay. Oh, there it is. Under view op options on the top. View Under options. options. View oh. options. All right. Where is it on an iPad? Oh, up at the top. Oh, there view it is. Option. If you, you can find iPad? it, there's uh, okay. Carol made an annotation. Right. <laughs> yeah. So uh, how do I get rid of it? Oh. Sorry, Ma. Oh, okay. Would you yeah. want an iPad? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, don't see it on an iPad. I don't see it on an iPad. It's there, Sheila. I, I guarantee you it's there. I can't tell where? you where it is because I can't see your iPad. I'm sorry. Oh, I see. It's way up at the top. Annotations. Uh, Annotations. Annotate. There you go. Somebody annotated it. Mojo. Somebody wrote Mojo on the screen. I don't, I don't see it at all. I understand you don't see it, but I trust me, it's there. Oh, and it's, here. it's over here somewhere. It's not <laughs> under more. It's not on oh, no, background you have to, and filters. But you have to push your yeah. your uh, mouse right up to the very top, and it will come down. Yeah, that's that's I what I don't have a mouse. <laughs> okay. Oh, All right. Well, we're. Never oh, mind. Those of you who can find it can use it. Those oh. of you who. Yeah, you oh, run your you cursor and a bar comes up. I see it. Okay, fine. All right. I'm clearing everything, and now I'm going to talk about the lesson topic, which is, <laughs> which is leads against a no-Trump contract. And um, I, I, this is this is the hand that I'm looking at. Um, now, Did last week we talked about – let me let me Trump uh, – uh, just a second. Let me mute everyone. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Okay, we're going to talk about leads against a no Trump card. Now, last week we were we talked about leading uh, from a, a long suit when you have a sequence, and now I'm going to talk about leading when you don't have a sequence, um, and your long suit is one like this diamond suit that we're looking at here. Uh, in this instance, uh, we want to. <laughs> You can stop annotating now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, we're going and basically 
<laughs> I still have to make everybody stop annotating. Uh, I, I can't turn it off, so if you're going to annotate, you will annotate. All right, write graffiti all over my screen. Um, basically, you lead the fourth best from your longest and strongest. I want to show you how this can work out when you're in, say, this diamond suit. Um, and let's say that uh, it's my lead here, and I'm leading my fourth best from the King Jack 572. My partner now, in this instance, they have the ace, and they return the suit. Notice that the declarer has the queen and the nine, and I can see in the dummy the jack and the ten. In other words, we can work together, and I can actually take all five tricks in the suit against a no-trump contract. And that's that's very cool. So it doesn't always work out quite so nicely, for instance. If I've got the same hand here, but notice now that my partner didn't have the ace. And in the dummy there is the, I mean, excuse me, in Declarer's hand on the right, here's the ace, queen, nine. Uh, and if I lead now, my partner will, we, I mean, we'll, they will lose a trick to the ten or the nine. Uh, and... In this instance, though, we get to set up several... Uh, okay, I can't do that one. Hang on a second. Let me do this again. Say I lead the five, and my partner puts in their best card, and we lose to the nine, to the declarer. If um, the declarer now works to set up their club suit, and my partner wins, if they get back in, we now get to trap the queen, and that's important because declarer is not entitled to three tricks in the suit. They may be entitled to two with that lead. Uh, and and at this point now, I can win the king. And perhaps we can establish more tricks in the suit if I can get the lead back again. Let me show another example here. This is a case where um, yesterday with this holding, you might have led the ace and then the king and then the seven and the five and the two. But when you don't have a three card sequence and you're leading against a no trump contract from your long suit, not your partner's suit, then you still you lead fourth best. You should lead fourth best. When would that change? If I had the queen or the jack in this card, then I would lead my ace. But in this instance, I'm going to lead the five. And what happens then is, now of course I've, I've set up a, a really nice example. My partner wins the queen here, leads the suit back, and we get to win all the tricks. My ace takes the rest of the cards, and now my seven and two are all good. Of course, partner doesn't have to have the queen. That's not necessarily what they're going to do. Um, in this instance, they don't have the queen, and let's say that I'm leading the five, and uh, declarer plays low, my partner does the best they can, and we lose a trick to the nine. The difference is, if I had started, well, I'll show you that in a moment. Now when, when my partner gets in with the ace of clubs, they have that three of diamonds, and they can lead it back, and once again I can take the ace and the king and all the rest of the diamonds. Now let's just look at what would have happened if I hadn't led first, fourth best in this instance. Let's say I led my ace, and of course it's going to win. And I play my king, because of course it's going to win too. And I want to set up my little cards, so I'm going to play another one and make Declarer win their card. Well now, when Declarer gets in with, I mean when my partner gets in with the ace of clubs, they have no diamond to lead back to me. Um, if my partner has the only entries of the two of us, then um, I need to leave partner with a card in my suit that they can lead back to me. Okay, so with that in mind, now what I'm going to do is have you get out the annotation tool. If this works, if you can find it, if not, that's fine. Um, let's say that this is your holding. Um, click on the card that you would lead from this holding. Annotate this card. Okay. All right, most of us are leading. All right, it can stop now. <laughs> most of us are leading the seven, and that's the correct card. Um, nine, eight, seven, by the way, is not a sequence. Um, if it were ten, nine, eight, it would be. Uh, the top card has to be an honor card, so it has to be ace through ten. Uh, so we'll lead the seven from this. Let's 
go to this suit and if you would annotate the card stamp on the card that you would lead yeah I'll just show the rest of the of the cards yeah okay we're all gonna pick the three that's good um, some of us are probably waiting for other people to, to make a choice before they do and I don't blame you um, if we lead the three and declare a plays low let's watch what can happen now my partner can win with the king and lead back a club which drives out the ace and notice now that my partner and I we have the last two tricks in the suit so that works out pretty well let's look at one more example let's annotate the card that you would lead from this holding ace queen four three two okay good we're all picking the three the the fourth best good all right let's clear I'm gonna clear that out and let's look at how this could lay out now this is an interesting layout of the cards look at our partners hands over here the king jack when I lead the three what happens declare plays low my partner wins the king and that wins they, they when you're doubleton you generally play the top of your two cards when you when they lead back the jack you have to be careful here because um, if declare plays a card oh well, they play the nine in this instance we have to overtake our partner's jack in order to keep leading the suit and if you okay if you count the cards you can see how that would work I'll just show you this one more time showing all the cards when I lead the th the three my partner plays the king and returns it when I see that my partner has the jack and declarer has a card I now know that there's only one club left on the table and it's either in my partner's hand or the declarer's hand and this is just a matter of counting we can see that this is the last club on the table now I don't know if this card is in declarer's hand or in my partner's hand but it doesn't matter because I know that if I overtake with my queen now when I play my ace the last card will fall and it didn't matter if it was in my partner's hand or the declarer's hand and I'll get the rest of the tricks so knowing to overtake your partner's jack there is really just a matter of uh, counting the cards as in so many things okay um, let's see let's do one more annotation thing um, I'm gonna put up a hand and I'm going to have an auction it goes um, pass pass one no trump pass 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 and everyone pick a a card to lead from this suit I believe we have a consensus yes we're gonna lead the four of hearts we've got our longest suits is hearts we have no clues from the bidding uh, so let's lead the fourth best because it's lacking a, a sequence all right I'm gonna clear the annotations and let's change to this one again same auction pass pass one no Trump pass 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 choose a lead a card to lead from this suit okay difference of opinion oh Peg did you let's see the uh, um, the three of spades is a good possibility but honestly when I've got a sequence like this diamond sequence Queen Jack 10 uh, fourth this would be my choice um, this has has a better chance of developing some tricks than the other one does but it's not to say that the spade wouldn't work there are going to be some some hands where it works quite nicely okay again the same auction Pass, pass, one no trump. Pass, pass, pass. Choose a card to lead. Yeah, okay. We're unanimous on that one, the six of spades. Good. Okay, that's what I've got for this morning. Um, I think next week I may do a special, if I can get some graphics together, uh, I may do a special on team play. Uh, Swiss teams and knockout teams and how it the like what are the mechanics and the scoring involved because a week from Sunday I'm planning to hold our first Swiss team game this is something we haven't been able to do for a year but Swiss teams are or teams of any kind uh, are my favorite event at tournaments uh, they're my favorite way to play bridge the scoring is the most fair 
uh, and the most accurate reflects true bridge scoring. Uh, and having a team of four is a wonderful way to play. So I'm going to I'm going to try and walk through some of the mechanics of how team play works at bridge, and uh, I'll do that next weekend. Then we'll go back to uh, opening leads.